హలో డియర్ ఆల్ ఐఎమ్ సంతోష్ వాగ్ అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఛానల్ లర్న్ ఈజీలీ బై సంధ్యా వాగ్ ఇన్ ద సిరీస్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ వీడియోస్ వీ విల్ సీ సొల్యూషన్స్ ఫర్ ఎయిట్ స్టాండర్డ్ స్కాలర్షిప్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ టూ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ సెక్షన్ సో లెట్ స్టార్ట్ అవర్ వీడియో అండ్ సి క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ థర్టీ సిక్స్ టు ఫోర్టీ ఆఫ్ సెట్ ఎయిట్ సిద క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ థర్టీ సిక్స్ ఇఫ్ అ నంబర్ ఈజ్ డివైడెడ్ బై ఎయిటీన్ దెన్ ద రిమైండర్ ఈజ్ వన్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ డివైడెడ్ బై ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ద the remainder is 7 and if it is divided by 36 then the remainder is 19 what is the smallest such type of number here to get the solution of this question you can take the help of these options directly because such types of questions are very lengthy but here by using these options directly we can find your correct answer so you can try yourself but here i will explain a method a basic method for this so if if we consider let consider let consider number as x consider number as x then what will be the first statement it is divided by if it is divided by 18 remainder is x remainder is 1 so our statement will be x divided by 18 answer will be there will be whole number isn't it let it be a here remainder is 1 so here will be 1 upon 18 this will be the type of this answer similarly in second statement if it is divided by 24 means x divided by 24 whole number will be b and remainder will be 7 so 7 upon 7 upon 24 isn't it and similarly third statement will be x divided by 36 there will be whole number c and remainder will be 19 upon 36 here a b c are whole numbers and this one is remainder 7 is remainder and 19 is remainder means the number x what is what will be the possibility of this x number x number must be greater than 36 isn't it and there will be remainder 19 if we consider c as a whole number 1 then for the in this case x will be this 36 plus 19 isn't it 36 plus 19 that will be 55 isn't it here x will be 55 if we consider b as a one whole number it, it will be 1 2 3 4 like this if we consider minimum because it is what is our smallest number so smallest will be one in this case x will be this b is one so x will be 24 plus 7 that will be that will be 31 isn't it and in this case in this case if a is 1 then x will be 18 plus 1 that is 19 so here if we consider x as 18 it will it is not divisible by 24 because it is less than 24 so this is not possibility if we consider x as a 31 then it is not divisible by number 36 so this is not also a correct assumption if we consider x as 55 then it is true for the last statement if we, it is divided by 36 remainder is 90 19 and for the second if it is divided by 24 if 55 is divided by 24 then whole number is 2 and remainder is 7 isn't it it is like this so this is also correct for the second one also and for the first one that is 55 divided by 18 it becomes 3 whole and remainder is 1 upon 18. So it is also correct for the first one. So 55 is our correct answer. Isn't it? Option 4 is correct one. See the question number 37. Which polynomial should be subtracted from polynomial 7x square minus 2x plus 4 to get the polynomial 10x square plus 5? It is very simple. Just subtraction. Just take the subtraction we will get the required answer that is 7x square minus 2x plus 4 minus this 10x square plus 5 it is in bracket isn't isn't it so sign will be changed isn't it so what will be the next 7x square minus 2x plus 4 then here minus 10x square and minus plus will become minus isn't it minus 5 so take subtraction here see the same terms 
7 x square and minus 10 square are the same terms because x square is there. So here, here will be minus 3 x square. There is no x so minus 2 x will be as it is and minus 5 plus 4 these are constants it will become minus 1. So what is our so this is our required answer and it is option option number 2. So option 2 is our correct one. See the question number 38 square root of 1.96 minus square root of 2.25 plus square root of 2.89 and whole divided by square root of 0 0.000256 so these are the simple questions they are just checking your presence of mind here square root of 1.96 is nothing but 1.4 isn't it 1.96 square root is 1.4 minus 2.25 square root is 1.5 plus square root of this 2.89 it is 1.7 divided by square root of this 256 square root of 256 is 16 but there are point and 6 digits so it will be 0 0.016 just keep your presence of mind and do not make any mistake while putting this point take the addition of this 1.5 and 1.4 minus 1 point and this 1.7 means 1.6 plus 1.6 divided by 0 0.016 just simplify this it will be 16 into 10 to 2 there is 10 to 2 minus 1 divided by again there 3 points are there so 16 into 10 to 2 minus 3 simplify, simplify this 16 16 will get cancelled and 10 to 2 so 10 to 2 minus 1 into transfer this 10 to 2 plus 3, plus 3 that is equal to 10 to 2 2 10 to 2 and option is here first option 10 square see the question number 39 Pradna has exactly same number of rupees 2 coins and rupees 5 coins she has a total amount of rupees 196 then how many coins of rupees 5 she has here number of coins of 2 rupees 2 and rupees 5 are same so let the number of coins be x so let the number of coins number of coins is equal to x numbers so value of rupees 2 here value of rupees 2 that will be equal to 2x and value of rupees 5 rupees 5 that will be equal to 5x isn't it and total she has a 196 rupees so 196 is total if we take the addition of this 2x plus 5x we will get 7x just simplify this we will get 196 divided by 7 that is 7 on the 7 7 to the 14 and 7 is the 56 isn't it so it will be 28 we got number of coins as 28 and which are same for rupees 2 and rupees 5 and option is first option option is first that is correct one see the question number 40 two angles of measure 40 degree and 140 degree with the different vertex are drawn then which of the following statement is true here what is important given different vertex remember this word different vertex and angle measure is 40 degree one angle is let it be 40 degree like this this is 40 degree and other angle is 1 140 isn't it if we this this is this will be the 90 this will be the 180 and this will be the 140 isn't it 140 both have the different vertex then we have to find which statement is true first statement is the given angles are supplementary angles what is the meaning of supplementary angle supplementary angle means sum is 180 degree isn't it so here sum is 180 degree 40 plus 140 degree that is 180 degree means this condition is satisfied supplementary angle this condition is satisfied sum is sum 180 degree that means supplementary angle this condition is satisfied now second the given angles are linear pair of angles what is the meaning of linear pair of angles a uh, angle linear pair means if this is the line and like this angle linear pair means sum must be for linear pair sum must be 180 degree isn't it but at the same time they must have the common vertex 
isn't it this is a condition for linear pair but this condition is not satisfied because both angles have the different vertex though the summation is 180 degree vertex are different so this statement is true now the given angles are vertically opposite here for here for vertically opposite angles if two lines are parallel if two lines are parallel then angles are vertically opposite this angle these two angles are vertically opposite but they have the same vertex so this condition this is also not satisfied here because they have the different vertex and in for the last one given angles are adjacent angles adjacent angles means these angles these two angles which have the same vertex so this is also not satisfied so only first option first option that is supplementary angle this is the correct one that is option one so what will be our answer only these angles are supplementary angles first statement is option one is our correct one this is all for this video thank you